Today we're going to make Chinook salmon, which are indigenous to the Pacific Northwest and they're also endangered. They're the primary food source of southern resident orcas who are also endangered. So it's a very special project. We're going to start with a ball of clay and smash it down just a little bit. Then we're going to roll it out the rolling pin. Now roll a little bit in one direction, then lift your rolling pin and rotate it. And, and then roll the other direction. So again, roll a little bit, then lift and rotate. Keep doing that till you get your clay about an eighth or a quarter of an inch thick. Now that we have our clay about the right thickness, we're going to cut out the shape of a salmon. Look at this one I have here. So you can trace really lightly with your, um, with your needle. And don't worry about these parts. Don't worry about the, the fins. Just cut out the body part. And you can start by doing kind of the triangular shaped tail. And then you're gonna be making kind of a, make it thinner and then a kind of like an, an oval shape like that. Now, if you're tracing really lightly and you make a mistake, you can get your finger just a tiny bit damp. You can delete your mark and redo it. Or you can start over and do a new piece. So I want to be kind of modifying this shape a little bit, maybe making it a little bit pointier at the end. So now I'm ready to cut it out. I'm going to make stronger lines. I'm going to cut all the way through the clay. I'm going to cut it out pull these pieces away and save them. I'm going to cut out other parts of the salmon with it. I'm going to pull this away. Okay. Now once I have that, I can kind of round the edges. Like that. And um, notice the head part. I can do kind of a line there. And maybe I want to cut out the mouth. So the um, spawning males have kind of more of a hook upper lip, but um, you can do kind of a curved shape or a straight mouth like that. And a little bit for the eyeball. Now for the other parts, for the fins, we're going to cut from other pieces of clay. So I'm going to make the clay I have here is, is a little bit on the thick side, so I'm going to make it a little bit thinner. And I'm going to cut out the fins. So I'm going to do kind of a straight line or slightly curved. And um, from, whoops, from that, I'm going to cut out this top part. So I have this line here, and I'm going to do kind of a curved triangle. It's gonna go up here, and then I can cut out that shape. Again, it's kind of like a triangle. It's a little bit curved. If you just do a triangle, it'll be great. It doesn't have to be perfect. We got that part there. And then on the bottom, I'm gonna cut out two other pieces. So, cut out this piece, kind of like a funny shaped rectangle. that and then right here again these shapes don't have to be perfect okay so now that I have them I can attach them using the score and slip method so I'm going to push this on here and see if I can tell where the mark is and then score it
And I'm going to score this part as well. I'm done doing that. I'm going to add some water to both surfaces and I'm going to gently push them together. Now I'm going to do the same right here. I'm going to push it on there gently and then I'm going to lift it up. It's got a little bit of a mark so I know where to score. Score it up. Score. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit of water to both surfaces and I'm going to gently push it on there. And attach these pieces the same way. Now for the tail, I can make um, a round, like a half circle at the end. And then for the, the fin, I can use little lines, add some texture. And then I, if I want, if there's any little messy parts of my fish, I could take a tiny brush, a little bit wet and smooth out any kind of bumpy, unattractive, or rough spots. Okay, and now um, when your fish is done, you could make a second uh, tiny fish to go with it. Uh, another thing you can do is mm -hmm. make sure to write your name on the back or ask me to help you write your name on the back. You're gonna put your fish in the center on the, the tray that I have in the center of the table. Now with these extra pieces, if you have extra pieces like this when you're done, Here's what I want you to do with them. I want you to add some water to them like this and then put them into a ball and put them back inside the clay bag. Now with these other pieces here, you're gonna lift your canvas like this so that you don't drop these little crumbs and you're gonna walk it over to the garbage can. You're gonna shake it into the garbage can and then you're gonna put your canvas back where you got it. Now with the, the other part, you're gonna wipe off your table and um, then you're all set.